Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and the subject today we are studying is IGCSE uh, theory paper, and this is extended physics. Today we have set our hearts to solve a paper four, which is a theory paper of the extended physics. And uh, we are attempting in this video only a single question of this paper. And this paper, this question is related with the space physics. Actually, we are collecting the questions related with the space physics for our O-level students. So um, this, the paper we have selected is February, March, 2023. And we are going to attempt question number 10 of this paper, which is related with the space uh, physics. So uh, let's uh, start and here we go to the question. Okay, so here we have that paper. This is March, February, March, 2023, uh, 062542. This is uh, physics, paper four, theory extended. The time allowed for this whole paper was one hour, 15 minutes. The total marks for this paper are 80. The G value is taken as 9.8 meter per second square. So, but we are going to attempt only the question number 10 of this uh, paper. So, okay. So, here we have question number 10. Okay. So, this is showing up on your screen. Now, this question number 10, he says the time taken for Mars to orbit the sun is 690 Earth days. The average orbital radius of Mars is 2.28 expo 8 kilometer and Earth day is 24 hours. Calculate the average orbital speed of Mars in kilometer per second. The time must be taken in seconds. So, uh, you know, if you want to find out the orbit, uh, uh, average orbital speed, the formula is 2 pi r divided by t. R here is the radius, and that is 2.28 expo 8 kilometer. The T is the time. Because you want the average speed to be in kilometers per second, so the time must be taken in the seconds. The T here is the orbital period. Uh, the orbit, orbital period of the mass is given, that is 690 Earth days. But we want the time in seconds, so I will convert this into seconds. In 690 days, uh, each day has 24 hours, and each hour has 3600 seconds. So 690 multiplied 24 multiplied 3600. So that gives you 5961600 seconds. So this is the orbital period in seconds. The orbital speed of the Mars is given. The orbital speed is two pi r divided by t. So two multiply pi, multiply the radius whose value is 2.28 expo eight kilometer and divided with the time, which is 5961600 seconds. So when you enter these numbers in your calculator and you do this calculation, the answer is 24.03 kilometer per second. You can say 24 kilometer per second. So here we have that marking scheme. Let me show you. 24 kilometer per hour is the right answer, sir. Okay. This is the solution, how we have done this. Okay, now we are on question number 10, and it's uh, B part. State the shape of the orbits of the planets. The Most of the orbits of the planets, they are elliptical. So the shape of the orbits of the planets is elliptical. It's a very simple, straightforward uh, statement type question. Elliptical is the simple answer. You can see this is my answer. Okay. Next question is question number 10, C part, its first portion. He says, light from a distant galaxy is red shifted. Explain what is meant by a red shift. So you see, uh, the light which is reaching the Earth from that distant galaxy which is moving away, the, that light when reaches Earth, when it reaches Earth, the, its wavelength becomes larger and its frequency becomes uh, smaller as compared to the light which was originally omitted from that galaxy. So that's why we call this red shift. This is called red shift. So light from a distant galaxy which is moving away has larger wavelength and 
lower frequency as compared to its wavelength and frequency when the light is omitted from that galaxy. So when it is omitted from the galaxy, its, uh, its wavelength is smaller, its frequency is higher. But when it reaches Earth, its wavelength becomes larger and its frequency becomes lower. This is called red shift. So look at the marking scheme here. Wavelength of the light from distant galaxy increases, occurs when the galaxies are moving away from the Earth. Those galaxies are moving away, that's why this is happening. Light from a distant galaxy is redshifted. C second part is state the quantity that the redshift of a galaxy is used to calculate. The redshift is used to calculate the speed which, with, with which the galaxy is moving away from the Earth. Redshift of a galaxy is used to calculate velocity of the galaxy with which it is moving away from the Earth. So you can look at the marking scheme. So this is that question, sir. It was a total seven marks question. And uh, we have done, we have completed this question. The basic aim of doing this question is to provide questions related with the space physics for our Cambridge O-level students because this is the new topic which is added into their uh, uh, syllabus and they don't have so many questions related with the, the space physics. So we are trying to provide these questions. If you think this video is useful, if you think this video is helpful, please share the link of this video with your class fellows, with your junior students, with your teachers, and with all those people who are preparing for the upcoming exam. And also like this video, please share the link of this video onto your WhatsApp accounts, on your uh, Facebook, on your Twitter, on your X, on your uh, LinkedIn, so when you do this, you see, this helps me to promote my channel. I think it's a great blessing for me that I can make these videos, which can touch the life of so many students around the world. These videos can make the life of students easier. The student, the, the, these videos can make the life of their parents easier and their teachers' life a little easier. So thank you very much for taking your time and watching this video. Have a good day. God bless you all.